Oh man, Bonnie and Clyde's car. That's what that looks like. Dude. <laughs> he does some acro, doesn't he? When he yeah, does it. dude. He's on a slanted slope right now where he's shooting. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's shooting to the right, so aim about an inch to the left. And pull your trigger slow, mm -hmm. don't jerk it. Nice. Ooh. Right there. So aim in that same reference point and quit jerking your trigger. Nice slow pull on that trigger every time. Dirt bikes in the area. Nice. special on that yeah. one. He's killed. So I'm see the blue guys there. There you go. Cool. Sucks having to spend time with your dad shooting BB guns, huh? Nope. Go. Hit those dudes on the right, the red dudes. Nice. Shake it when you cock it with a lever open. Far right guy. Next red guy. Oh yes. Oh. See? Nice. Look at this dude, he took a solid hit right in the side. Mr. Playmobil, his body armor didn't work so good. Funny, check this. Oh, he's still laughing. <laughs> he's laughing. He's not the only one laughing. Oh! Not laughing no more. Not yeah. The blue guy. Actually, yeah, that's a hostage situation. I gotta take the blue guy without disturbing the yellow truck. Oh! Nice. Move closer for more fun. Freaking havoc, man. Nice. I think that one, that's, enough, that's number one. It shoots more dead on. <laughs> Dude, wail on that Playmobil guy. The blue one's standing up there <laughs> mocking you. <laughs> <laughs> that is perfect. That was awesome. You want to have a good time with your son or daughter. Take them BB gun shooting. Take them out in your own backyard. We're kind of up in the hills today doing it just because that's the way it worked out. Best. The fundamentals of trigger control, breath control, stance, although we're on a kind of an awkward hill here, it's hard to get a, oh, you wailed on that. It's hard to get a nice, stable position here. You like this closer stuff, don't you? Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. Showing that. 
This Red Ryder BB gun is pretty much stock, except it has a cheap AJ large loop on it. I can see you with or without, it doesn't matter. Nice hit, dude. You can adjust for, you know, elevation, but not for vintage. Nailed it. Shoot the one in the front of the box. Excellent. Shoot the orange cherry picker, or the yellow cherry picker truck to the right of the box. That's it. Shoot the white RV to the right. Oh, nice. I'm going to whale the, on that cherry the, truck more first. Okay. Especially when you're shooting metal matchbox cars. You want those eyeglasses on to protect, yeah, protect anything. These are steel uh, BBs so they can bounce off anything and come right back into your face. Whale is on. Oh yeah! Which one? Brown camo jeep. Where is it? Right below, at the red guy's feet. Right there. Hit it. Get that red guy out of the way first. <laughs> that was a three for one special. That was good. Red car. Green car. See, it's got that wood support. I gotta yeah. get it right in the hood to spin it. The back. And the front. Right there. Oh, oh now he's set up for death. <laughs> he's trying, trying to put he's the mercy brake on now. dead, yeah. <laughs> he got wasted. Here's Down red guy. Check him out. Blue guy, right in the head. There he is. There he is. Playmobil guy, right in the face. <laughs> Here is another nut and fancy heirloom gun, the Ithaca Model 49 22 love this gun. It's been in my family since the early 1970s. At this point, it is one of our heirloom rifles. And I have thousands of rounds shot through this from me personally. Since the age of 7? Yeah, no joke. Since age 7, I've been shooting this gun. And I inherited it when Dad passed away. And uh, I will say this, you know, claiming thousands of rounds shot through this is quite a remarkable achievement. Because despite its appearance, it's not a repeater. It is a single shot. I've shown it to you in other videos before. And those guys have been with TMP for a while, have seen it before. There you have it. Loading gate, non-functioning magazine tube. Ithaca, Model 49. Absolutely love it. Quality and workmanship, superb. And I absolutely love lever actions. Although this really isn't a true lever action. It just operates a loading gate and that's about it. Looks like it though. I love the styling, the nostalgia, and the fun of shooting a real lever action. Stay tuned to the Nut and Fancy Project. You lever fans are going to like what's coming up, by the way. Uh, and it's all born from my heart. I love it. I know, there haven't been vids out there yet. It's just because I haven't had time, dudes. I'm doing the best I can through my small informational time funnel I have getting TMP produced. Back to the Ithaca uh, Model 49. Uh, a few years ago, probably about four and a half years ago or so, I was heavily involved in youth groups, and I would take these youth groups out camping, hiking, backpacking, teach them fire skills, survival skills, marksmanship training, all this man stuff that I am talking about in TMP and teach pretty much, I don't know, around the world or at least model it. I was doing on the with the youth groups. Great fun, a lot of work, but it, definitely worth it. Uh, we had a camp out planned, and I was thinking, hey, I want to bring the Model 49. What a great training gun this is. I mean, it's single shot, very simple to operate. You just lower the loading gate. You know, it ejects the shell when you're done. I think single shots, like I said on my cricket rifle review, great trainers. Still think that. Love the lever gun, gun looks. But then I started thinking about where we we're going. This was kind of a car camping expedition, not really backpacking. So I was like, I don't know if this gun or any firearm is really good to take there because there's a lot of people around. You know, I'm going to have to create some type of range. And even if I shot maybe 22 shorts or CBs in it, it's still loud and obnoxious to people, even if I have a safe backdrop. And no, firearms are out. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of you guys are in the same situation. It's just, it was legal where we were. I mean, we were out in the sticks. We drove to out in the sticks, but this gun did not come. And I started thinking, well, what a shame. You know, it'd be fun 
for the boys at the campground uh, where we were, it was by a lake, another high mountain lake, thinking, man, it'd be fun for them to shoot. And a lot of the kids had never had any exposure to 22s or any type of firearms. And I started thinking, how can I replicate that? You know, the fun of a lever gun, the marksmanship skill, and then the competition that you can have with the boys. And here we're getting to the crux of this review. So I'm walking through Walmart, go through the sports, sporting goods section, and then it dawns on me. The Red Rider BB gun? Absolutely. Dude, it just dawned on me like, I was like, that would be perfect. Yeah, I know all the, you know, the, the nostalgia associated with this, but this is going to be a review you've never seen on the Red Rider because I'm going to talk about it in practical terms, in terms of training people to shoot, the fun, the competition, the memories you're going to make. Maybe that does dovetail into nostalgia. And so at that day, that day in Walmart, these guns back in 2006 at Walmart, and this is the actual box I bought then, I bought four of these. That's right, four, because they're $25 a piece. That's cheap, man. I took these Red Rider BB guns out with the boys, you know, created a simple shooting range like you saw at the beginning of this video, kind of like I did with my other video, BB Gun Assault. Do you remember that one? Posted in January 2009 by Nothing Fancy. You'll see an annotation. What a blast. That is jumping right into the talking points. Let's get going. Lots to talk about on a BB gun? Yeah, that's right. You'll see more air gun reviews from Nothing Fancy because I love them. I always have. I just haven't had time to make the reviews yet. Here comes one. Yeah, a total blast. And it's quiet. There's so many advantages to this system, perhaps over a 22 system in certain venues, in certain locations. Yes, we can download them with CB caps. If you don't know what 22 CBs are, they're by CCI. They don't have any gunpowder in them. And they put out, I don't know, I forget, like 35 foot-pounds of energy. I love CBs. They're still a little loud pop, and you have to worry about your backdrop. It's still a firearm, you know, and there's a lot of places where a firearm just isn't smart. Enter the Red Rider BB gun. Red Riders, those are toys, nothing fancy. They're a joke. Red Rider well, BB let me tell you, having shot thousands of rounds through our Red Riders since 2006, they're not a joke. They're ac plenty accurate enough where you can practice all the skills of marksmanship training, just like we did on that camp out. You know, we took those boys, we set up the army men at distance, and the fun began, you know, and kids who had never shot before, never had any exposure to firearm safety, learned it on that camp out. We talked about safe gun handling, pointing in a safe direction, manipulation of the safety, sight alignment, sight alignment, I can't speak, sight alignment, trigger control, Marksmanship basics with a BB gun that costs $25. Philosophy of use, first and foremost, I think it is a training tool for people who have never had any exposure to any type of gun whatsoever. And it's very unintimidating. I mean, they all saw a Christmas story. <laughs> you know, they saw Ralphie. Ralphie, you know, taking on the bad guys with his Red Rider carbon action 200 shot range model with a compass in the stock and a thing which tells time. BB gun. Can't believe I remembered all that. Yeah, so it's in American, uh, what am I trying to say? It's in Air Gun Americana. That's what I'm going to call this video already. And so when you break out a Red Rider BB gun, you can get someone who's even, I don't know, part of the protectionist cult culture. That's what I call it. The anti-gunners, the anti-self-defense types. And you could sway them with a Red Rider BB gun. Hey, let's go shoot the BB gun while we camp. Well, I don't know about that. It's a BB gun. I'll teach you everything you need to know. Suddenly, they're having a blast. They're knocking over, you know, tin cans, shooting the whatever targets, the toy targets you brought. Hopefully, you did. That's even funner. Suddenly, they're having a great time, and they're learning safe gun handling, all the stuff we just talked about. First POU, it is a gun trainer, and it's absolutely capable in that role. Yes, a 25 now about $30 Red Rider BB gun. Amazing. Second POU is just collectability. It's just cool. The gun goes back a bit, man. I mean, the name Red Rider comes from the Red Rider comic strip cowboy from the 30s. And I think this is called the Model 1938 Red Rider, which just like I opened this video with, is modeled after our most beloved Winchester lever action that is in the hearts of Americans and people all over the world. Because you could say for whatever reason, is it cowboy and Indian movies? I don't know. 
You know, we saw and grew up watching, you know, the Cowboys with their lever actions, John Wayne. I don't know. There's something about it. It just burns into the hearts of a young kid, just like you saw in Christmas Story. And I, I'll admit it. I'm the same way. I love it. There's just something cool about it. There's nostalgia there. You know, jacking in with that, to that, that side of history. And it's a fun collectible. I'm going to break out another video separate from this one. I'm going to tell you about something that you may want to move on, Red Rider style, if you are interested, interested in that collect, collecting. How many, thing, how many guns can you collect of different varieties without breaking the bank? Uh, I don't know of many, but you could probably establish a Red Rider BB gun collection for less than $500 and you would probably have a wide range of Red Riders throughout the world, you know, throughout the time and different models. I'm going to show you a couple different models on the tabletop. So definitely a valid POU just to collect it because of the American Americana associated with it. Okay, take five. I'm laughing because I can't even say the word. Marksmanship training is one of the reasons. Collectability, definitely another. And another one I really want to hit hard when we talk about the Red Rider BB gun, $25 to $30, we'll say it's $30, is fun. Yeah, I know I already mentioned it, but I really have to hit on this hard. And because there's a lot of guys that may be skeptical. They're like, dude, there's no way a BB gun's going to be as fun as a 22 or a 223 or an AR-15. Well, every type of shooting is different. What have I always said in the Nut and Fancy Project? Nice. This trigger time is trigger time. Wait, wait. Whatever you're shooting, it all translates to you becoming a better marks marksman. There's that word I'm having trouble with again tonight. Um, nice. A better shooter. You know, practice on a Red Rider BB gun. Does that translate into better 22 shooting to better tactical carbine shooting? Well, I don't know about you, but it does for me. You know, shooting, shooting. And if you don't think it's fun, take go ahead and go splurge on a couple Red Rider BB guns. Get two. You're going to have to have more than one so you can compete against each other. Go set the range up that I showed you in BB Gun Assault that I'm showing you here in this video. And take your buddy out. Get this take one you of can. your family members. Say, you know, we're going to have a little competition. We're going to set dude, these, you you know, these uh, army men up. And whoever clears them off first wins. You know, he can set, do all kinds of different things. There. Fun. Yeah, and you tell me after yeah. you've done that that you didn't have a blast. You didn't create a memory with your nice. friend. You know, and some of my friends, of course, you know, they're too good for it. They're too good to shoot BB guns. I've even thrown it out to them. Dude, let's go shoot BB guns. I'm not shooting BB guns. I'm too cool for that. They don't say that, but that's what they mean. To those guys, I say, you know what? You need to, like, rein your ego in and go have fun. Absolute fun. Why is that possible? Because this thing only puts out this about 250 well. foot per second BBs. Okay, one model I chronoed thing. about 248 feet per second. The other awesome. model, 265. I think right 275 oh, is what Daisy's saying that they uh, oh, do good. in their oh, manual. Yeah. That's what I read in here at least, right? They're saying 350 on the box. Don't believe that. That's uh, fantasy coming out of a stock Red Rider BB gun. That ain't going to happen. But that, a lot of guys will say, well, that sucks. You know, I'd much rather shoot a pellet gun. Well, it doesn't really suck, and there's a lot of reasons why. I'm going to get it to want to get to the talking point of innovation and design, but let's stick with velocity. And that's what opens up a lot of shooting galleries for you that otherwise you would not be able to do, even with that single shot Ithaca, even with 22 shorts, CBs, what have you. It's still a firearm, it's still loud, and it can still penetrate through a poorly set up backdrop. You know what I'm saying? It's a firearm. This is a BB, you know, and it 250 foot per second is what we'll call it. I mean, it loses energy quick. I mean, pretty much the first thing it hits, it's going to lose energy. That does not mean that we treat it, you know, like a toy. It's still, in some ways, a weapon. You have to be careful. Okay, and you have to set up a be uh, backdrop. I mean, it's easy to do, though. You could set up a sheet between two 2x4s two to catch the BBs, have them drop to the ground. You could set up a BB gun range, if it's legal, wherever you live, in your backyard. How many guns can you do that with? Not too many, at least legally, and smart, you know. Is that smart doing that? No. BB gun. Yeah, it opens up capabilities and fun that pretty much remain closed to every other type of firearm that you're shooting. So, nostalgia, absolutely fun, marksmanship, training. Nice. Dude, there's lots of reasons to spring for a $30 Red Rider 
and take it from me you start shooting with it you'll see exactly what i'm talking about pressing on talking points innovation and design what i was going to say earlier and this is what sets us apart from a lot of other rifles definitely a lot of other air guns is the fact that the 1938 red rider bb gun is a repeater it mimics their look the look and the feel of a real lever action rifle so that's kind of second type of cool nostalgia what i've been talking about in more practical terms it makes shooting a red rider very fun and relatively fast you know you don't have to pump up the gun several times for each shot uh, it's just simplicity you know you just lift the lever cock the gun shake it get a bb in there i always shake it when i'm holding it vertical to make sure it loads and you're ready to go getting back to the shooting games that i do with my red riders that makes it fun for everybody because you're not fooling around and wasting a lot of time for each shot there's no co2 cartridges to wor worry about it's simplicity at its best so you talk about innovation design you can see why the red rider bb gun from daisy is still here in 2010 it's, it'll be here for years to come if it ain't broke don't fix it simple 650 BBs in an actual feeding tube in this gun, unlike the Ithaca 22. Simple, you know, cocking design. Man, dude, it's just simple Simon. That is the Red Rider BB gun when we talk about innovation design. On one hand, here's another. How many things do we see in life that cheapen over time? Pretty much everything, right? I talk about it a lot here in the Net and Fancy Project, and I'll call manufacturers out on it when I see it. You don't see that much with a Red Rider BB gun. In fact, when you look at a Red Rider, it's very similar to the Red Riders of days gone by. Maybe we're talking 1950s, 1960s, 70s. Yes, there's been some changes. Now, the cocking lever is made out of polymer plastic, albeit a durable one. There is a plastic insert in the buckhorn rear sight. The front sight is plastic. That's about it. Still have a stamped metal receiver. It's all metal tube. There's no plastic there other than the front barrel insert right there. Wood front grip, wood stock. Still has a Red Rider logo burned in it. Still have a saddle ring on the side. I always take the leather off. You can see it comes with a leather strap. And I guess that is a throwback again to the Red Rider comic book cowboy. The idea was that the leather thong would be here and it would drape over you, tie a knot on it, and you could you know, uh, lift the gun over your saddle ring or let it rest on your saddle ring uh, or the saddle horn off the saddle. So that's what it's from. But I find it just kind of gets in the way, so I take them off. But basically, you're looking at the same gun that it's always been. How many things can you say that about in 2010 and in the years to come? For $30, there you see why the Red Rider BB gun is still popular. It's simple and it works. When we're talking about innovation design, it's not so simple, though, that it does not include a simple, well, I don't know simple word, but a cross-bolt safety right there. Remember, we're talking about firearms instruction. I think that is critical right there, that I have a gun with a safety, and that might be a downside of that Cricket 22 single-shot rifle I previously reviewed about a year and a half ago. No safety for the kid to learn to manipulate and remember. Anytime he hands the gun back to you, hey, dude, you put the safety on. No, I didn't. Okay, you need to get in the habit of doing that. Make sure the gun is empty, treating it like it's always loaded, always giving it back to the dude. Safe direction, safety on. See what I'm saying? The Red Rider fits in perfectly. Um, no rifling in the Red Rider, though. Don't expect that. It is a BB gun, after all, and it's meant for close range. Okay, so materials and quality, I'm kind of talking about them right now, dudes. Mostly steel. Steel barrels, you know, steel outer barrel sleeve to make it look like, you know, the lever actions we love and adore wood stock there's been variations of the red rider as years gone by there'll be probably some more time to roll in here it comes speaking of red rider bb guns where to go where to go here it is my chief aj red rider bb gun there's a variation for you if you dudes don't know who chief aj is you probably should i've mentioned him before on my project talking about this gun my Ruger 2245 Chief AJ Special. Modified by him in the mid-1990s, it is now closed, so sad, to Scola, Illinois' gun shop, workshop, where he modified Ruger 2245s. This is just an outstandingly 
accurate and fun to shoot gun. Every modification you see, the Chief AJ Tribal Workshop did. Tribal because he's a full-blooded Cherokee American Indian. There you have it. Total super stud. He's getting on in years, but he's still active. Chief AJ, by the way, is a guy who shot 40,060 consecutive two and a half inch square pine blocks with a Ruger 1022. I think that's a world record or something. At age 70 in 2008, he set the world's Guinness record for hitting 1,500 flying targets with a slingshot. If you go to his website, which I'll annotate in the upper right, sadly the Red Rider BB gun is no longer shown. They all sold out. You guys should have bought one when I did BB gun assault because I talked about it then, early 29, when they were kind of tapering off. But this is another variation of the Red Rider BB gun. And this shows the large loop lever from Chief AJ. He came out with this. This was a special edition large loop lever. Also, look at the stock he came out with. It is larger, more size for adults than the regular Red Rider stock. You see that extra length and height? to it, a longer length of pull. It is very comfortable to shoot for adults. It came in a special uh, kit called the Inst Instinct Shooting BB Gun. Where's that box? I gotta show you. I know it's gonna be a long review. There's lots to talk about. You guys don't like it, tune out. There it is, Chief AJ Special Edition Instinct Shooting BB Gun. Look at this box. Look at that stud. What a great dude he is. Chief AJ, we love you, man. It's a great shooter, great individual. Check that out. Sign my box for me. Sign my stock for me. That's what I do for you guys too. It just adds coolness. I love that he took a Sharpie and signed it for me. What a great gun. Also, guys are going to say, dude, what is that on top of there? You got a red dot on your, on your Daisy Red Rider? Yes. At the time, I'm sorry, no longer available, Chief AJ offered an optics rail for the Red Rider BB gun. See that? It's not exactly perfect. You can see it ties in with a, an acorn nut there through the re rear sight. And it's made of aluminum. And then it ties in the back with the stock retention screw. The problem I found is since it's made of aluminum, there was a slight bow in it. And I had to use an Alabama zip tie modification on it. So I really pulled it down. It's relatively stable. Not super. But that's what it is. It's an optics rail made by Chief AJ. So this is a Chief AJ thing, that and that. Love it. Special edition. You were talking about collectability. If you have a Chief AJ Red Rider BB gun, it's collectible. Totally collectible. Yes, I shoot mine because I like the sizing of the stock. Who knows? Maybe I'll do a nut and fancy special edition Daisy Red Rider BB gun. If you want one, tell Daisy and we'll see if we can work something out. I think you guys would dig it. I got some ideas. You'd dig it. You'd dig it. So there's a quick look at my much beloved Chief AJ version of the Red Rider BB gun. I love it. You guys can probably detect that. There's been other versions too, and there will be more as time goes on. One was that Christmas Dream Red Rider. It was kind of a takeoff on the BB gun from the movie, Christmas Story. Had like a, I'll see if I can find a picture of it, a compass in the stock, a sundial on one side. And from what I, I've read, pretty expensive, like $400 for a Red Rider BB gun, the Christmas Dream version. That's cuckoo crazy. I ain't paying that. Um, this Chief AJ special was like 90 bucks. You guys are going to be kicking yourselves if you wanted it. Sorry, it's not available. You might find it in the secondhand market somewhere. I don't know if Chief AJ is going to be cranking them up again, but I'm glad I got it. More variations to follow, no doubt. And look at the packaging. I think that's another cool collect collection uh, at a facet, I guess you should say, of the Red Rider. I store our Red Rider BB guns in these two, circa 2006 boxes they came in. Perfect storage containers. Yeah, I beat them up a bit. I put elastic bands on them, keep the lid closed. I just love the graphics. It's cool. The Chief AJ box I already showed you. In 2010, they're coming in blister packaging, which I'll show you in a separate video. Very cool. Stay tuned. I mean, yeah, it's cool. Uh, different variations. Awesome. I need to uh, talk about a couple other things in these two talking points. Uh, a couple downsides of the Red Rider $30 BB gun. Can you imagine it would have a downside? Oh, yeah, it does. The loading gate. On mine, you'll often see tape on the loading gate up here. And this, if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is where you load the BBs. You just open it up out there and dump the BBs in. Um, not too tight sometimes. It'll come open at the worst possible time and dump your BBs all over the ground. Voice of experience. Just slap a little strip of duct tape, in this case, my favored Gorilla Tape. Done. 
fixed. But again, we're getting back to this, the steel and the wood concept of the Red Rider. Because it is mostly steel and wood, even in 2010, mostly steel and wood, a few plastic parts like we talked about, it's going to last. Um, and I'm speaking from, you know, having shot these guns of ours, what do we have, five in the Nut and Fancy inventory? You know, they're so affordable, why not? Thousands and thousands of shots, you know, not just our family, but all kinds of visitors having shot them. We haven't had any problems, you know, occasional problem to feed because a person's not, you know, raising the barrel to the near vertical position and give it a little shake so the BB doesn't, you know, jam up as it goes down the feed tube. Uh, that's about it. Uh, one caveat, I'll say this has backed off. We've lost a couple of those screws because I did not Loctite them. When you get your Red Rider, back that off, degrease it, put it uh, on with blue Loctite. Blue Loctite. Highly recommended by me. Totally do that. And then I did it with the Chief AJ version. You can kind of see the Loctite dried there. Then you won't have problems. The gun will still operate without it. It's a lever retention screw, but that holds the bolt in so it doesn't back out. Guys will say, oh, I'm kind of jumping ahead to ergonomics. And let me, I'll cover about the large loop once I get there. Okay, so reliability, excellent. Durability, excellent. Actually, more than excellent, it's outstanding. We're talking about a $30 BB gun, guys. So let's not forget about that. How about accuracy? Uh, let's be realistic. Okay, this is a close range training slash recreational air gun. Okay, so let's not get crazy. Past 10 yards, you might as well give it up. Uh, the reason I say that is one, it's low power. It's only 250, maybe 265 feet per second. That's low power, low, ener low energy. You're automatically going to have a ra rainbow trajectory with that BB. Uh, that BB, trust me, you'll see it coming out of the barrel. It's so slow. Still good enough for a shooting gallery, guaranteed. Uh, and that's what makes it so versatile in setup, right? That it is so low power and it's, uh, you know, low ricochet. And by the way, while I'm talking about that, you know, if you're shooting like matchbox cars well, we, why, the way we do, you like better wear these. Better? Yeah. Always wear safety glasses when you're shooting your Red Ryder BB gun. You're shooting a steel projectile. That steel projectile can bounce off of your 2x4, come right back into your eyeball. Yeah, it loses a lot of energy when it strikes something, but it can still, I don't know, do some damage. Wear your safety glasses. Um, but yeah, limited in range. Uh, also the sights, if I didn't mention them, I'll do it now. They're basic, basic. Uh, they have a lot of air in between them. In other words, they're not super precise. Non-adjustable for windage, adjustable for elevation. For my eyes, past 10 yards, I'm having a hard time with them. Okay, so accuracy, if you keep that in mind, that it's a close-range gun, you're not going to have low power, low velocity, basic sights. Bring it on in. I, I'll tell you, dudes, you need to bring it on into like 15 feet. That's when you're going to have fun with Red Rider BB gun. When we set up our ranges with those army men and those matchbox cars and those plastic toys, which I recommend you do as well, oh. dude, that's when the fun begins. You call your shots, talk your smack, just like you've seen us on camera. Fun. And then when you get within like 10 or 15 feet where this gun is really suited, um, then it has enough power to, you know, to blow the arms off the big old plastic army men. Fun! And guys will say, well, nothing fancy, where do you get those? Well, I just went, I'll look on the, web, uh, the annotation right here. I did find the large plastic army men at that website. And they may be available at other places. And you want the big ones. The little ones are hard to hit. And guys who think that at 15 feet, you know, it's just a piece of cake. Well, it just depends on how good of a shot you are. It's still a challenge. You know, 10 yards shooting this, even more of a challenge. I better crank this out. This is going to be too long of a video. Here's some accuracy from the Chief AJ Red Rider I shot tonight. 10 rounds with the red dot sight. That's a BSA RD30 sight. High, uh, RD30 red dot sight. High value. Love it. For the money, amazing value. It's like $17 at Natchez Shooter Supply in Tennessee. Love that place, by the way. Tell them nothing fancy sent you. That's pretty good for a BB gun with a smooth bore. 10... 10 yards, 10 shots. Here's another one. Five rounds, I called it. Five BBs there. I was shooting a little bit low on that. This is uh, the one that puts out about 265 feet per second. I said RDS or it's RD30. And this is the open sight one. So, not a huge difference. And guys say, oh, I really want the red dot. Nothing fancy. Should I shoot a red dot? No, I wouldn't recommend it. Just shoot open sights. I mean, you'll, see, you'll still see me occasionally fooling around with that. It's fun. But the open sights for a red rider in the ranges we're talking about, and the size of targets you should be shooting with this are adequate. You know, you do not need a red dot on it. It's just something I was testing to have fun with. 
This is number four, 245 feet per second. So that's what you can expect. And here's another one. This is out in with Last Suspect when we went up in the mountains. I think I'll open the video with that. Pretty awesome. Accuracy is excellent. Firepower, 650 shot. And again, it's repeating action. You don't have to, you know, pump the gun up or mess around with CO2 cartridges. Easy enough to load. Here's my loading container. I just dump all my BBs in a clear plastic container. Some guys say, well, how do you load them in? Nothing fancy. You guys ask the funniest questions. I found this loader somewhere. It works okay. It's not great. Yeah, here's another one. I think this is from Crossman. That one didn't work that great. Load them by hand. However you jam them in there, it doesn't matter. Keep the fun going. Firepower is excellent. That's a huge advantage it has over so many other air gun designs that it is so fast shooting. Okay, and let me talk about this real quick before I forget. I'm going to get this one here. Guys complain about the accuracy. It's time that you need to upgrade because... Remember, $25, $30 for a BB gun. You're going to get BB gun accuracy. If you want something more, pay more. You won't have to pay much more. There's so many great air gun options out there. Here's a Daisy Powerline 35 bought at Walmart for $35. It's only $5 more. So this is going to have a lot more velocity. Claims 625 feet per second with full pumps. I bet you it's a lot less than that. Um, but on the flip side, it's not a repeater. It's going to be slow fire. So... In my opinion, this is not a good gallery gun. It's just too slow to get it going again. The Red Rider blows it away as far as firepower, and in this case, we're talking about enjoyment factor. It's only 2.2 pounds, too. Okay, that's gonna be light enough for any little kid to shoot, although that stock, even on a regular Red Rider, may be a little bit long for your little kid, whether it's a little girl, little boy, you might want to look into the youth model uh, number 10 that Red Rider has. And if that is still too large, I'm going to roll this in really quickly. How about the Red Rider Buck for $20? That's cool. And I, we used to have a toy gun that was a variation of this. Yes, by Daisy, it had a plug barrel and it just made a pop sound. And then they made a BB gun out of it or vice versa. This one actually has optic sights on it. I'm sorry, fiber optic front on it. How cool is that? $20? little tiny stock on it so start your kids early you know shooting then transition to the red rider from the daisy buck when you get a chance this is also an outstanding gun and adults can shoot this it's hilarious we we sh we take this out in the shooting galleries as well hey dude you got the buck these guys are like trying to get the stock up to their face it's hilarious the way balance and feel for what it is excellent ergonomics getting to the large loop lever by chief aj i love it it's fun to shoot with and as you saw in the video, I actually hold it on the exterior. I don't put my hand to here. And it is uh, an, an advantage over the perhaps the regular loop lever that comes with the regular Red Rider. But I don't mind that as all, at all either. Trigger is okay. Remember, it's a $30 BB gun. It's stiff. But if we're practicing trigger manipulation to translate to other firearms, pistols, tactical carbines, why not work with a trigger that's pretty basic? And the Red Rider, again, delivers on that. The stock is very, I don't know, just simple. Very lever action-like. Operation straightforward, simple. Again, mimicking the lever action that we love so much. Field strip and maintenance, there is none. It shoots BBs. There's no gunpowder being burned. It's simple, simple. Occasionally, you're going to drop some high-quality oil. I recommend rim oil. There's so many different variations. Maybe a CLP. That might be a little bit thick. I would just do a rim oil or something like that right here few drops it talks about it in the manual i think accessories i've pretty much shown you what's out there uh, again that was a snapshot in time they're all gone this large loops by chief aj and such maybe they'll come back i don't know value dudes i mean what can i say i've said it throughout the whole review you know guys may go nothing fancy i can't believe you bought four of them dude to buy four of them back in 2006 i didn't even well i spent a hundred dollars you know, for the amount of fun that I had with those kids up there and training them how to be safe gun handlers. And more importantly, I don't know if it's more importantly, but just as important, giving them an awesome memory. I mean, I've talked to those boys now. A lot of them, you know, are over 20 years old now. You know, and they, they talk about that camp out like, oh, man, I remember when we went out and you had those BB guns. That was so fun. You know, we set up the... We had the shooting competition against the Army men. The same ones you see Last Suspect and myself shooting. Tactical Doodle. They love it. I mean, that's the thing that you can create even now in this modern day and age, uh, modern age, with a Red Rider BB gun. 
I told you this review is going to be different, and the reason it is is because I'm not just focusing on the nostalgia, uh, or the nostalgia. I'm, I'm focusing on the practicality and how the Red Rider, amazingly, as of 2010, is still holding its own in terms of everything we're talking about. That's why you see it on the Walmart shelves. You know, that's why you see it on many websites. Uh, the Red Rider gets it right. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, you'll shoot your eye out. You know I had to say that. Of course, wear your flipping safety glasses. Track record? Uh, all you have to do for that is go back to the name. The model 1938 Red Rider BB gun by Daisy. It is absolute quintessential air rifle. An amazing value, amazing practicality and fun. I think you should have one. I think you should have two, three, and go out, set up those ranges, you know, according to your local laws. I hope they do have local laws that allow you to have a Red Rider BB gun and have a blast. I feel sorry for my overseas TMPers. I mean, their countries don't even allow a Red Rider. And I know they're going to come in the comments and go, nothing fancy, we can't even have that gun. I'm sorry. Join the NRA, give generously to the NRA, ILA. They fight the battles for us. Because one day you may see that even here, even here in the United States of America, these guns become illegal. I know. I hope that never happens. What more can I say? It's an outstanding air gun. A Red Rider review. Net and fancy. Go buy a couple today. See ya. What? 50 orange oh, guy. Yeah. Okay. Playmobil orange guy. <laughs> Oh, it's a solid center of mass hit. Double. Oh! Blue guy up top box. <laughs> Red guy top box. <sighs> He's laughing. He's laughing, getting cocky. <laughs> Still getting cocky. Oh! You like me now. <sighs> I'm running out of bees in this thing. Can we switch them out with the others? You want me to go grab one? Yeah, we can pirate some out of the other ones. <laughs> oh, stack Jeep and red car. Jeep again, right in the windshield. Red, oh, actually, the stack. This will be a hostage situation. See the, the red dude holding the suitcase with no head? Yeah. The vehicles behind him have to be killed with me not hitting him on this shot, okay? Yeah. Oh! oh! Hostage rescued. Awesome. Suddenly we found out he's. That is not a hostage. It's a bad guy. <laughs> okay, another hostage situation. The yellow cars behind the red guy. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be a hard shot. Oh! oh! Dude. Dude. We held on that guy. Red guy. <laughs> 